My name is Joshua Alba. I am the local rabble rouser and I uh, have an organization called The Rogue, hence rabble rouser. And um, I love my city. I grew up mostly in Tower Hill here in Lawrence. Uh, it's one of the two hills that we have here. I just grew up kind of more privileged than a lot of my friends and a lot of my family members. Being at the top of the hill, you know what I mean, that socioeconomic status, right? It's just seen viscerally there. You know, had a house and just had everything given to me, more or less. But like it also gave me the time to uh, figure out how life should be, you know what I mean, quote unquote, without having to worry about the basic necessities. You know, and now that I'm um, older, I'm appreciating that time that I had not to struggle and the opportunities that I was given to basically do whatever I wanted. I think when I found out about poverty and power dynamics and like socioeconomic structure, I think that started after 9-11. Yeah. Um, just looking at, I was in high school at the time and just wondering, you know, how the hell could this happen? My behavior was reflecting oppression, uh, just on an on a unconscious level, right? Just trying to break out of feeling caged but not being able to say, hey, I'm in a cage of some sort. And so I started having conversations with family members and friends in my mother's basement because I felt like, Lawrence, we're, we're all poor here. We're not used to having conversations. Only through having conversations, you'll learn how to have conversations and only about the issues, uh, only uh, talking about the issues and getting the incentive and researching on the issues. Do you learn about the issues as opposed to just making some basic assumptions and yeah. just going by what the media tells you getting people to empower themselves yeah. through, through feeling my own disempowerment. We have a strong foundation for a real community. And, and I say real community with the caveat that I don't think we really have a community in this country, or at least from the places that I've seen, you know what I mean, and read about, and that a community actually means that people are able to commune together and talk and communicate and be open um, as opposed to um, kind of like the facade of the community. Like we have a, a, a community building. And so I know like we have that want um, and we're accomplishing it in one sense, but like in the intellectual and maybe even philosophical sense, we're not, or, or the socioeconomic sense, we're not doing it. There's, there's so many people that are volunteering for local organizations that it's ridiculous. And people are so fucking committed uh, That like you can't do, you can't like, like how are we poor? You know what I mean? Sorry. I'm not doing it for the camera. <laughs> oh shit. Like how are we poor, you know what I'm saying? Like if the, like, the American values that say, if you just work hard, you'll make it. You know what I mean? It's like that's fucking bullshit because like I see the poorest people every fucking day killing themselves for their families, you know what I mean? For their community, and they ain't moving shit where. Right. Um, and like things are improving, but um, there's like no justice, you know what I mean? There's no, uh, there's no reward for giving back. There's no reward for being real and caring. Uh, and the reward is for, um, for fucking each other up. Do you believe in the American dream? Hell no. <laughs> there is no American dream. The American dream is violence, man. It's violence and hyper-masculinity and individuality as opposed to community and collaboration and, and caring. The American dream would, should rather be a sharing economy, people sharing resources and, and living space. And we're Americans, we're a picture, you know what I mean? We're, we're brush strokes in this big you know, tapestry or whatever. Diversity is our strength, right? The American dream should be founded in that. We had a protest Friday. Five undocumented people got detained while at their appointments to become documented. This lady from this movement, Cosecha, 
which means harvest, You're kind of paying homage to the, the migrant workers in the farms and the fields and everything like that. And we were at the protest. And she's like, si los de abajo se mueven, los de arriba se callen. If the people on the bottom move, everybody in the fucking top falls. And that's all we got to do. I'm just like, we're going to take over the world. And, and hopefully we do it justice. Hopefully we do the world justice. Hopefully we, we, we make some gains that people can learn from. Uh, we will make mistakes that I, uh, that I hope people can learn from as well. And I think that, I think we're, we're figuring out that we're contributing and um, that's what makes me proud is that we're part of the historical process of human progress, like directly being here. And that's like my humanist kind of thing right there, but yeah, it's pretty cool.